If it's constantly you, the man, giving, 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 and getting really nothing back from her, and you have to keep doing that just to stay afloat like you're treading water, that's no fun. Who wants to be in a relationship like that? Sometimes you have to just move on, and it's hard because we don't want to. We want to make that work because in our mind, we spent all this time, maybe you wrote a bunch of letters, maybe you did all this, and you built this up in your mind so much to where you want it to work. And damn it, you're going to make it work. You ever see someone trying to get that square peg into that round hole, and they just keep pounding and pounding and pounding, but no matter how hard you pound, it won't go. And you can try and try and try, it's just not going to happen. If you have to try that hard in a relationship, is that a good relationship? I mean, will that probably And I imagine it's all in the beginning, uh, when everything's supposed to go nice and smooth. So what's going to happen later when we try to live together and... Uh... Right, right. You know, of course there might be some minor ups and downs when you first meet, right? Of course there might be some misunderstandings. There might be some stuff. Okay, that's fine. But, you know, if it's constantly, I talk about this all the time, if it's constantly you, the man, giving, 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 and getting really nothing back from her, and you have to keep doing that just to stay afloat, like you're treading water, that's no fun. Who wants to be in a relationship like that? I want to be in a relationship where I'm giving, and I'm getting, and I'm giving, and I'm getting. Because guess what? That is a normal, organic, happy, healthy relationship. So guys, again, we go back to correspondence, and letters, and things like that. You know, yeah, you can... Play with that all day long, you can write. I'm not a big fan of writing, I will tell you that again. And if you're gonna do it, you should do it with a plan, and you should do it with the plan to go meet as soon as possible. If you get to the point where you're just writing, 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 and you're building this idea of what she is, you can smell her in your mind, you can feel her in your mind, you do all these things in your mind. Well, your mind's an amazing thing, and it can build the perfect woman, trust me. She's just perfect in your mind, right? And letters help. But then when you go over and meet her, you know, she's not gonna be like that, right? She's going to have her own thoughts and her own things, and yes, she, she may be close, and you may have some advantage because you've written to each other and you know enough about each other maybe to move forward quicker if the chemistry is there, but that's a big if, because you don't know that chemistry that all important chemistry is going to be there or not. You'll, you'll never know it through letters. You won't even know it really through a uh, video call, although I highly recommend a video call because I think it speaks volumes much more than letters do, and you get a better idea of the personality and everything, um, and, and a little bit of the chemistry. But you still won't know that chemistry until you go over and you meet. I get it. Going over is a little bit of a commitment on your part, right? I mean, you have to be able to do it. But if you're really going to be realistic about this, and you really want to be one of those guys over there that are trying and putting themselves out there, then you need to do it. You just need to, to fight the bullet and say, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to see. And you know, guess what? When you get over there, you may find that that woman that you thought was way up here is perfect isn't. And she isn't all what she was, you thought she was. But because you are going with us, especially if you go on a group tour, but if you go individually, we can, while you're there, introduce you to other women. Women that maybe you never even knew existed. So because now that we get to know you a little bit, and we have wonderful matchmakers, they can say, hey, guess what? That didn't work so good, but how about this one? How about that one? That might work better for you. And, and all too often, we find men that will end up marrying a woman that was never on the radar screen, never on a list, never wrote to, but when they went over, it just turned out that, yeah, bumping into each other, there was chemistry. And then it just moved forward again. And that's the way you grew. It happens with a lot of our guys. You, you've seen it, I'm sure. Absolutely. And again, when you look across the website and you look at the profiles and you start to create this perfect woman in your head, okay, I want her to be blonde, I want her to be that tall, you know. But then in reality, you know, the, you might end up there a completely different person uh, just because there's a chemistry connection and everything else is right. Are you interested in meeting the love of your life? Experience the adventure of a lifetime. Interested? Learn more at MexicanLoveMates.com.